Russian tennis star Maria Sharapova has had her two-year ban reduced to 15 months by the Court of Arbitration for Sport. The five-time Grand Slam champion was banned by the International Tennis Federation after testing positive for meldonium at the 2016 Australian Open. The 29-year-old said she's been taking the drug since 2006 for health reasons. Well, Maldonium was banned on the 1st of January this year after evidence that it boosted blood flow and enhanced athletic performance. Well, Sharapova claims she was unaware of the rule change but will now be able to return to tennis on the 26th of April 2017. Let's get the very latest with our sports correspondent Samantha Johnson. Samantha, so uh, was this verdict from CAS a surprise or was it expected? Um, it was expected. Um, as I said in the hour before, CAS have a record of reducing um, bans. They've done it twice before. So the fact that they've reduced it from two years to 15 months, it could be seen as a, a, a nice, I suppose, medium, especially for Maria Sharapova. But like you said before, uh, she's banned until the, um, April the 26th, 2017. So that means she actually misses the Australian Open. However, she will be available for the French Open. And what kind of reaction has there been? I know it's literally just happened in the last uh, few minutes or so, but has any reaction come through? I suppose, well, I haven't seen any reaction at the moment because I've just come on set. But I would imagine people would say that this reaction or this, this ban or that she'd been banned for eight, 15 months is quite fair. But at the same time, some fans might be a bit sceptical about her coming back to play. She's already served most of the ban and you've got to remember when she admitted that she was found guilty of doping she didn't actually uh, say to WADA or the ITF that I've been on medication for 10 years so whereas in the recent weeks we've had you know leaks of athletes taking TUEs which is therapeutic use exemptions they've actually gone to WADA to say look I'm actually taking these medications for a health problem she didn't actually do that so there's kind of a gray cloud hanging over her on that respect it's going to be very interesting to see what kind of relationship she will have with brands now uh, Nike and Porsche they suspended uh, their deals with her will they take her back we don't mm. know she was you know number one in terms of female you know she was the highest female earning uh, sportswoman. So will she get back to that point? We're not sure. Mm. So we'll just have to wait over the next few months. How devastating was this ban to her and the fact that it has been reduced by nine months? Is, is that going to be what she wanted to see? Or do you think she would have wanted to see even a bigger reduction? I would think she's happy to be, you know, happy to be able to play next year. I mean, if it was two years, I mean... She'd be 31 by the time she came back to play. Would she have the drive, the desire mm. to uh, carry on? We're not sure, but I think this is probably a, a good outcome for mm. Sharapova. Okay, many thanks for that, Samantha Johnson, for us.